All right, guys. So today we get to look at basically a pro version of one of my favorite pair of true wireless earbuds. The pair that we're going to check out today is the Status Between 3 A and C. Now, essentially what this is, is the status between pros with some upgrades. These now have some very impressive features. Uh, so we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the sound. We're gonna talk about what all comes inside the box and see if it's worth the retail price of $249. Although right now on their website, you can actually pick these up for $199. So I know that I've probably already scared off a good amount of you just based off the price. But in comparison to the Sony and the Bose and the AirPod Pros and all of those models which cost more, I think these definitely are in the talks to be the best true wireless earbuds out there. So to start with, Status Audio is one of those companies that's, well, known for their audio. The Between 3 A and C obviously has active noise canceling. Uh, there's a transparency mode. These also have Qi wireless charging. They have multi-point connection. They are using Bluetooth 5.2. Now these are still using that same triple driver system with the two balanced armature drivers and the 10 millimeter dynamic driver. But this pair has been retuned. So it doesn't sound exactly like the Status between pros so much that the app for these uh, even has a status between pro basically like an EQ setting so you can get these to sound like the status between pros but there's the signature sound mode which are made specifically for these that definitely dials it up some but we'll talk about that more once we get to the sound but also within the app you do have the ability to customize the EQ settings the way that you want the app also allows you to keep the earbuds updated which is always nice but other than that, the app is kind of bare bones. There's not really anything you can do with the controls. There's no Find My Earbuds feature or anything like that. But again, it does just enough so that you can play around with the sound. Now moving over to looking at the earbuds and the case themselves, uh, the case is fairly small. It definitely feels solid. It has good weight to it. Uh, on the back, you can see the USB-C input and your pairing button. And then around on the front, you have three indicator lights. That way you can kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. But when you pop open the lid and you pull out the earbuds, just like the status between pros, you'll immediately notice the unique design of the earbuds. It just has this rectangle look on the outside instead of just your normal stems. Uh, this pair uses both physical buttons for controls and touch controls. So you have a physical button on the top uh, and then you have your touch controls on the side. And I'm happy to say that with both of these, they give you control over everything. So you have your play, your pause, your volume control, your track control, uh, the noise canceling, the transparency, all of that can be done from the earbuds themselves. Now, as far as using these outdoors, they do come in with an IPX5 rating. Now, that may not sound like much, but it's actually pretty impressive considering that these have noise canceling, uh, that it didn't just go with the normal IPX4. So you have a little bit more protection against things like rain and sweat and splashes and things like that. Uh, but this is still a pair that you want to make sure you don't drop into water. Now moving over to talking about the active noise canceling and the transparency mode, because a lot of you, if you're shopping in this price range, you're going to be looking at some of these other brands that offer very impressive noise canceling or very impressive transparency modes. And I feel like the status between three A and C's stack up very well against those. I mean, it does an excellent job of blocking out engine noises, AC units, anything that has like that lower rumble to it. But it also does a really good job of blocking out people talking, which a lot of earbuds don't necessarily do a good job at. So I would put them very close to the Bose and the Sonys. Uh, they don't block out as much, but they definitely don't give you that vacuum or suction feeling that some of those other earbuds do. Uh, so it is a very comfortable earbud to use while having that noise canceling on. And the transparency mode is done very well on these. There's plenty of mics. I actually have six mics total. Uh, and in transparency mode, I have no issues with hearing my surroundings. Uh, and it is very easy to carry on a conversation without actually having to take the earbuds out. Now, as far as what all they've included inside the box, you do get three sets of silicone ear tips. Uh, but they also include three sets of basically like those silicone ear grips so that it sits in your ear canal and doesn't move around if you're going to be doing things like running or going to the gym or anything like that. Uh, so that is a nice touch. And then as far as the charging cable, 
they have included a USB-C cable. But like I said earlier, these also have Qi wireless charging, so you don't have to use this USB-C cable. You can just drop it on any wireless charger and you're good to go. And speaking of the charging, battery life is very impressive on both ends. If you're going to use it with the noise canceling on or off, you're getting a very good battery life. Uh, with the ANC off, you can get 12 hours out of the earbuds uh, with around 48 hours using the case. But with the ANC on, you're still going to get 8 hours out of the earbuds and about 32 hours using the case. Now, I didn't find that these have fast charging. I didn't see any information on that. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer just because there's so many times that I forget to make sure my earbuds are charged. Uh, so if I pick them up and they're dead, I always like to just throw them in the case uh, so that I can get a, you know, one to two hours worth of use on a five to 10 minute charge. And sadly, I didn't see that these have that. But if you are going to be using these for phone calls, like I said earlier, these have six microphones total and they are beam forming mics. So they are trying to focus in on your voice. Uh, they're also using environmental noise reduction. So if you're in a noisy environment, they're doing a really good job of blocking out all of your surroundings. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. So here's the mic test using the between three A and C's. And like I said, I think it does a very good job of picking up my voice. Uh, it does sound a little digital, although I don't think it's overdone. But this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here's the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound. Now, the fact that these are already using a triple driver system already makes these stand out amongst a lot of other earbuds. But the fact that they retuned what was already a very impressive earbud in the Status Between Pros makes these that much better when it comes to the sound. I mean, this is a very dynamic sounding pair. They took their sound signature, the Between Pros, and just amped it up a little bit. They, they're giving you a little bit more punch in the low end, but the low end on these is very fast. So if you're looking for that subwoofer type bass that kind of hangs around and sometimes can mess up the mids and the treble, this pair doesn't have that. I mean, it is extremely powerful in the low end, but it is definitely a hit and move on type of bass. Uh, the mids, they did bump up slightly from the between pros where vocalists, whether it be male or female vocalists, always stood up front. And it didn't matter if I went from pop to hip hop to metal to rock or whatever. Uh, vocalists always had a nice presence. Uh, same thing if I'm watching a movie, I felt like dialogue always stood out. And when it comes to the treble, I was so happy that they even chose to brighten these up over the Between Pros, which I already felt like had extremely good treble. But having that treble that can get right up to the point of being harsh, I am a huge fan of when you have that really punchy bass. I just feel like it balances out well and it allows things to just be right there in your face. So I just, I love the way that they tune these. I love the fact that if you want to have the sound of the status between pros, you can go to that. They also have an audio file mode, which is trying to flatten everything out. And it really just kind of dulls the sound to the point that I don't really enjoy this setting. Uh, I do understand why they have this. So for people that just want a flatter sound signature, but the one that it has right out of the box, I just, I recommend keeping it on that. It's fun to listen to. It works great across all genres. It is dynamic but it is definitely still very open. Uh, you can easily tell where sounds are coming from, and I, I just think from a sound standpoint, this is easily one of the best you're going to find. So if I'm going to break it down into the different categories, if you're listening to mainly pop and hip-hop, I would give these a 9. Uh, and the only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 is it just doesn't have that subwoofer-type bass that you know people that listen to these genres usually want. Uh, but with rock and metal, this is easily a 10. I mean, it is dynamic so you can feel the impact of drums. It is fast in the mid, so guitar riffs sound real clean. And the treble having that really nice brightness means when the cymbals are crashing, uh, you can hear those stand out even if there's a lot going on. And when it comes to easy listening, I would pull it back down to a nine. Uh, and that's mainly because the treble at times may be a little harsh for some people. Um, I don't feel like it's as balanced for genres like that, even though I still think it sounds fantastic for those genres. Uh, and then when it comes to using these 
movies with media. So for movies and gaming uh, and different things like that, I would pull it down to an 8. Uh, and that's mainly because these don't have Bluetooth 5.3, which does a better job uh, of cutting down lag. Now, I didn't notice any lag with movies or videos, uh, but I did notice that there is a slight lag when it comes to gaming. So that's really why I pulled it back to an 8. But my overall rating on these is easily a 9. Uh, honestly, just from a sound standpoint, this is the closest to a 10 that I think that I can get. I, I, I was so happy with the way that these sounded. Uh, I was so happy to just check out songs that I was already familiar with just because you can hear a lot of different subtle things. Uh, it's a lot like a pair of IEMs that's more on the dynamic side. Uh, it just feels like these have so much power to them. So really what I feel like the between three ANCs are is a refinement of what was already one of my favorite earbuds. Now, the ANC and the transparency are fantastic, so obviously that's a great addition on top of the Between Pros. Uh, and now the fact that it has wireless charging is also a huge plus. Now, it does lack fast charging, and the app itself is just kind of bare bones. It's not a feature-rich pair of earbuds if you're looking for a lot of things that you can do within the app, but you do have that multi-point connectivity, which is a huge plus, and these just sound incredible. So if you are looking at these or if you're looking for a pair of earbuds just based off sound alone and you need noise canceling, it's going to be extremely hard to top these. So the fact that you can get them for $199, I think is already a better buy than the Sony and the Bose. I think it's better than the Samsung Galaxy Buds Pro, which are also in that same price range. And from a sound standpoint, I really don't see anything that tops them, at least when it comes to my own personal music taste. But guys, that wraps up my video on the status between three A and Cs. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.